12 Common Signs You Have Poor Circulation Hello and welcome to our channel. Have you ever experienced cold hands and feet or muscle cramps, especially in your legs? Do you feel fatigued all the time or have difficulty concentrating? These are just a few signs that you might have poor circulation, a common but often overlooked condition that affects millions of people worldwide. The circulatory system is responsible for transporting oxygen and nutrients to our organs and tissues, ensuring that they function properly. However, poor circulation can disrupt this process and lead to various health problems, from mild discomfort to more serious conditions such as heart disease and stroke. In this video, we'll explore 12 common signs that indicate you have poor circulation. By identifying these symptoms, you can take steps to improve your circulation and prevent further health issues. No matter what stage of life you are in, it's essential to pay attention to your body's signals and take care of your circulatory health. So, sit back, relax, and join us as we delve into the fascinating world of the circulatory system and learn how to recognize the signs of poor circulation. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and enable notifications to ensure you never miss any of our future uploads. Let's get started! Sign 1 numbness or tingling sensation in your hands or feet if you've ever experienced a numbness or tingling sensation in your hands or feet you know how strange and uncomfortable it can feel this is frequently the result of inadequate blood supply to the extremities which is caused by poor circulation an inactive lifestyle diabetes and smoking can all contribute to this condition because untreated poor circulation can progress to more severe conditions like nerve damage or even amputation, it's crucial to take this warning sign seriously. Sign 2. Cold Hands and Feet Cold hands and feet, even in warm environments, are another frequent symptom of poor circulation. This occurs as a result of improper blood flow caused by your blood vessel's failure to dilate properly. Your hands and ankles may also take on a bluish or white hue. This indicates that your tissues are not receiving the adequate amounts of air they need to survive. Sign 3. Muscle Cramps Have you ever experienced a sudden, painful muscle cramp in your legs or feet? If you said yes, then you may be suffering from poor circulation. Muscle exhaustion and cramping can occur when blood supply to the muscles is inadequate. This occurs most frequently during strenuous physical action, but it can also occur while at rest. Sign 4. Varicose Veins Poor circulation is often manifested in the legs by the appearance of varicose veins. These twisted and enlarged veins can be ugly and painful, causing pain and swelling in the affected area. The blood pools in the legs because the veins valves aren't working correctly, causing varicose veins. Sign 5. Slow Healing When you suffer a minor injury, your body immediately goes to work trying to repair the damage. On the other hand, if your circulation is weak, recovery time can be significantly extended. This is because the damaged region is not receiving sufficient blood flow, which prevents the cells there from receiving the oxygen and nutrients they need to heal. Slow wound healing is a common problem for people with diabetes, which can contribute to life-threatening infections. Sign 6. Fatigue When your organs and muscles aren't getting enough air and nutrients, you may notice that you're constantly exhausted. Feelings of fatigue, sluggishness, and inability to focus are all possible outcomes of this condition. Sign 7. Shortness of breath. A frightening symptom, shortness of breath can indicate a severe health problem and make breathing difficult. Poor circulation is a leading cause of shortness of breath because it indicates that your heart is not pumping enough blood to satisfy your body's needs. There are many potential causes, such as heart disease, lung disease, or even anxiety. If you experience shortness of breath, it's important to seek medical attention right away. Sign 8. Headaches There are many potential reasons for a person to experience headaches, one of which is poor circulation. When your brain does not receive enough blood flow, it can cause migraines, dizziness, and even fainting. This is because inadequate blood flow to your brain is preventing it from performing at an optimal level. Sign 9. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or feet. If you notice swelling in your legs, ankles, or feet, especially if it's painful, it may be an indication of poor circulation. This is due to the fact that your lymphatic system is unable to effectively clear the excess fluid from your tissues. 
multiple factors, such as kidney illness, heart disease, and even pregnancy, can contribute to this. Sign 10. Erectile Dysfunction A lack of blood flow to the penis, manifested by an inability to achieve an erection, is one possible cause of erectile dysfunction ED. Because of this, it may be difficult to acquire or maintain an erection, as adequate blood flow to the penis may be prevented. Sign 11. Memory Loss Memory loss, especially in the elderly, may indicate blood flow problems. When there is insufficient blood supply to the brain, brain cells can become damaged, resulting in memory loss and other cognitive issues. Many diseases and conditions, including heart disease, stroke, and Alzheimer's, can contribute to this symptom. Sign 12. Slow Metabolism If your metabolism is slow, it could be an indication that your body isn't getting enough oxygen and nutrients. This causes you to gain weight, make you feel tired all the time, and make it difficult for you to lose weight. In conclusion, poor circulation can have a variety of symptoms and causes. If you experience any of these signs, it's important to speak with your doctor to determine the underlying cause and develop a treatment plan. By taking steps to improve your circulation, you can reduce your risk of developing more serious medical conditions and improve your overall health and well-being. Comment below if you have experienced any of these signs of poor circulation. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.